Now, the Sidhu camp has been trying to plan a coup against the Punjab Chief Minister, Captain Amrinder Singh. And Amrinder Singh has delivered a big setback to the Punjab Congress Chief. At least 55 Congress MLAs, 8 MPs and 10 ministers attended the dinner that was hosted by the Captain. Leaders of Punjab Congress presented at uh, dinner echoed in one voice and passed a proposal to fight the upcoming assembly elections under the leadership of Captain Amrinder Singh. The proposal will be sent to the High Command soon. According to sources, on the basis of numbers, the Captain's camp will ask for his this announcement as the chief ministerial candidate face for the 2022 assembly polls. Harish Rawat, who is the Congress leader in charge of Punjab, has asked Navjot Singh Sidhu to remove his advisers Malvinder Singh Mali and also Dr. Pyare Lal Garg. So the High Command cracking the whip against Sidhu's advisers Malvinder Singh Mali has been making a series of controversial comments, posts, has been targeting Captain Amrinder Singh publicly as well. And that's why Harish Rawat, who's been holding meetings also to deal with this crisis that's playing out in the Punjab Congress, has told Sidhu that his two advisers, Mali as well as Dr. Pyare Lal Garg, have to go. So the Congress High Command in the latest round of uh, showdown and a tussle for power has clearly chosen a side. They've chosen to back Captain Amrinder Singh. Just a few days back, we reported here on India Today how Harish Rabat had told Navjot Singh Sidhu that Captain Amrinder Singh is the boss and that the Congress is going to be fighting the 2022 election under Captain Amrinder Singh's name. And now, keeping in mind Manvinder Singh Mali, Sidhu's advisor's comments off late, the very controversial ones, the Congress High Command has told Sidhu that he needs to crack the whip. Manjit Segal is joining us live with more details on this. Manjit, good morning. The Congress High Command really unsparing against Navjot Singh Sidhu. Sidhu may have not reacted on what his advisor has said, but the High Command has chosen to take note and they're saying he must act immediately. Good morning, Akshita. Well, uh, it's a major setback to the Navjot Singh Sidhu ad and his camp. Uh, Punjab Party Affairs in Charge, uh, Harish Rawat, has asked him to remove two of the controversial advisors, Dr. Kyare Lal Gurg and Malvinder Singh Mali, uh, immediately as they were issuing statements which were termed as atrocious, uh, ill-conceived and even anti-national by Captain Amrinder Singh and various other Congress leaders. So Navjot Singh Sidhu has got another setback after the party high command telling him clearly that Congress party has not been handed over to him. Captain Amrinder Singh was also there and the 2022 elections will also be fought under the leadership of Captain Amrinder Singh. On the other, Akshita, Captain Amrinder Singh has also now reacted. 58 Congress MLAs, including 10 uh, cabinet ministers, besides eight MPs, were present in a dinner which was hosted uh, by Captain Amrinder Singh's loyalist Rana Gurmeet Singh last night. So Captain Amrinder Singh's camp has now come forward and has shown that Captain is still there and he is capable of uh, holding uh, uh, holding the leaders, the, okay. uh, capable of uh, uh, swaying the Punjab. And uh, that is why Congress uh, High Command has also backed him. Yes. Uh, has expressed satisfaction over his working post Navjot Singh Sidhu's elevation. And even Priyanka Gandhi Vadra has yesterday uh, tweeted that and, and uh, complimented him the okay. way he handled the uh, sugarcane farmers protest and announce the sugarcane prices. Right, That's Manjit, it. thank you for those details. The High Command clearly has chosen to back Captain Amrinder Singh. And there's a reason that the High Command is demanding action now by Sidhu against his advisors. It's not been Sidhu of late who's been targeting the Punjab Chief Minister directly, but his advisor, Malvinder Singh Mali, who's come out all guns blazing against Captain Amrinder Singh. Mali had called the Punjab Chief Minister Ali Baba and his supporters, Charlie Chor. Navjot Singh Sidhu's advisor, Malvinder Singh Mali, has been relentless in his attacks against the Punjab Chief Minister. A day after posting Captain Amrinder Singh's picture with a Pakistani journalist, Malvinder Singh Mali has now called Amrinder Ali Baba and his supporters as Charlie's Chor. Sidhu's advisor is continuing his personal attacks on the Chief Minister, 
this time choosing an Arabian Nights folklore to snipe at the captain's army. Besides calling his supporters as Charlie's Chore of 40 Thieves, Mali didn't spare senior Congress leader Manish Tiwari either, calling him Ludhiana's Baghoda or a proclaimed offender. And Mali didn't stop there. He even labelled Captain Loyalist and the Public Works Department Minister Vijay Inder Singla as one of the 40 thieves. Mali's remarks have not gone down well with the captain camp. We have said that the people who are one or two are the people who are not going to take the Congress. And Sri Siddhu Ji also said that वो अपने सलाहकारों को नियंत्रण में रखा माली who once served as a political secretary to Amrinder Singh is now an advisor to Sidhu on Tuesday he posted a picture of captain with a Pakistani journalist to counter the chief minister's attack on him for calling Jammu and Kashmir a separate country captain Amrinder Singh and his aides warned Mali against issuing anti india remarks but he remains unapologetic if someone uh, does not respect the unanimous position taken by the Indian Parliament on this issue. Forget political parties. This is the unanimous national position on this issue. Then a very, very serious question manifests itself that uh, should such a person uh, be really even a part of the country? Mali even defended his post, showing Indira Gandhi holding a gun with a human skull hanging from the barrel. The endless controversial remarks by his advisors have put Navjot Singh Sidhu in a tight spot. While he called an emergency meeting to tackle the crisis, he hasn't said anything to Malvinder Mali publicly.